friends, it's me. As most of y'all know, I just got back from Japan and it was a life-changing experience. You know, a lot of the things that we think is very, very normal in America is actually very weird to the rest of the world. Like for example, ice water. You go to any restaurant, they will only serve you the coldest water. Like would you like some water with your ice? And that's fine because I love ice. But every other country I've been to, they don't serve water with ice. Just plain old room temperature water. If you're lucky, sometimes it's chilled. But why America? Not all of us are about the cold boys in the middle of January. I got ice in my booty crack. I ain't trying to have it in my drink too. Oh, and pharmacies, right? So here in America, we got a pharmacy in Walmart, Target. We got Walgreens, CVS. There's about a pharmacy wherever you go. You gotta pick up your meds that you heard about on TV that you recommended to your doctor. But pharmacies aren't just like a pharmacy. You got food, you got makeup, you got bath products. There's the whole pre-packaged meal section. Walls upon walls of drinks. Like there's so much stuff. Think about how much stuff there is at a Walgreens or a CVS. But I'm trying to get my back meds. Ooh, a salami sandwich. This is a weird one. Having lawyers that advertise. Oh man, in Vegas, they are literally everywhere. There are so many billboards for lawyers. Any problem you have. You're trying to get a divorce? Billboard. You broke? Billboard. She took the kids? Billboard. You even got like lawyers on buses. And when foreigners visit, they're like, what the heck? What y'all need so many lawyers for? Here in America, we love suing to get what we want. Why when you go anywhere in America, instead of saying hello, that girl at the grocery store. Hi, how are you? How was your day? Good, and you? Like they don't care. They literally do not care how my day was. It could be horrible, but of course, cause you ask, and I don't want to go into detail about how horrible my day was. I'm always gonna say good. Cut the small talk, Barbara. I'm here to buy my melons and be out. Like I wish it was just hi, hello. Clearly don't care about my day. Why are you asking me how it was? Y'all are so fake. Deep frying everything. Everything? Everything. We deep fry cheesecake. Ice cream. How you think to deep fry ice cream? It's literally frozen. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm not one to talk. Y'all girl love me some deep fried anything, okay? Oh, fun fact. Only America has grape flavored Skittles. You're a liar. I live in the UK and we have purple Skittles. The purple Skittle in the UK and other countries is black currant flavored. Not grape, black currant. More delicious. Whoa. Apparently black currant flavored stuff is banned in the US. They ban the fruit. Imagine that America being the only country to ban a fruit. <laughs> This one, you know, this is a blessing. This is the thing that everyone in America takes for granted. They ain't got Costco or Walmart in most countries. We got huge, gargantuous shopping centers, malls, just a place to get all your stuff. You like pasta? We got 39 varieties. You like meat? We got 50 fridges full of animals. Don't even get me started on ice cream, man. There's just so much to choose from. But in other countries, you just got like very little stores, but you got a lot of them. And you can most likely walk to them. Most of America, you gotta drive to get anywhere. Also, getting constant water refills at restaurants. I guess it's nice, but it's also probably because they're expecting a 20% tip. Like, I just take a sip of my water. It's still basically full, and they're gonna come around and top it off every two minutes. Excuse me, sir. Leave me and my nine-tenths of my water glass alone. Other places, they don't do that. They either give you a big thing of water or they have a self-serve water station. You thirsty, you go get your own water. That is so efficient. Like, I don't need you to keep coming around, interrupting my spaghetti noodling to give me some water and ask me how my tomato sauce was every 39 seconds. It's like, I appreciate it, but I also feel like I'm obligated to tip you more because you're pretending to care if my food is good or not. Like, I'll take a bite out of something and not like it and leave it at the corner of the table. Like, mm, I did not like. And he'll come around and be like, how was it? Clearly delicious because I took a bite and pushed it off to the side of the table. I didn't know it was not a thing to get coffee to go in other countries. Like you're supposed to sit at the cafe and be sophisticated and enjoy your espresso, sip a real slow in a real ceramic cup, not a plastic Starbucks cup. I like getting my coffee to go. I ain't nobody got time to sit in a cafe and enjoy their coffee. I like to enjoy it over the course of two hours. I don't know, I, I guess I don't agree with this one. I, I like that takeout coffee and I like that iced coffee in the middle of January. You hear me? 
Another thing, for medicine, there are ads everywhere for medicine. All over TV. Oh, you got back pain. I'll tell you what you need. Talk to your doctor about sucking it up. Sucking it up isn't right for everybody. Especially those who are little put. Oh, and don't forget the side effects. Here's a long list of side effects that you'll never read. But talk to your doctor and let them know that we sent you. Like a doctor is supposed to recommend things to you. Why is the patient recommending things to the doctor? I have depression, anxiety, and explosive diet. Diarrhea. This commercial was very relatable. Let me go tell my doctor what he needs to do. You never really think about these things as weird, unless you're not from America. Now the big question. In America, why do you have such large openings at the bottom of bathroom stall? Why the door don't go down all the way? <laughs> Privacy? Psych. In Japan, every bathroom I went to had a full door. And don't even get me started on those extra large gaps in between the doors. So apparently there's a few reasons why they do this. One, less material. Why pay for a full door when you can get away for paying half a door? It's just gonna be cheaper. Like, look at this design. It doesn't even go up to the roof. This is the cheapest way to make a bathroom. I mean, y'all lucky you got toilets. I'm surprised they didn't just put a hole in the ground and call it a day. Also, a useful reason is that you can just look under the door and see if it's occupied. Unless you're a scumbag that likes to lock the inside of the stall and crawl on out the bottom just to troll people. Joke's on you, you covered in doo-doo water sliding on under. Unless you jumped on the top, which I doubt. But people do that. They freaking lock the door and then they just leave. And Karen, she been waiting. Then proceed to knock on the stall. Like, hello, I've been waiting here the past 18 minutes. Just suck it back in, wipe, and then finish at home. Oh wait, there's nobody in there. The last reason is if there's any funny business going on under the stall. One stall per person. You know, funny business or bad business. You will most likely know what's going on because you will see four legs instead of two. You know what else is weird? Keeping eggs in the refrigerator. Oh, I keep my eggs in the refrigerator. And in whatever country you live in, everyone likes eggs. In America, the eggs go through a rigorous washing process to make sure they're extra squeaky clean and filled with chemicals so bacteria can get in if we don't refrigerate the eggs. What's the point? So companies have a longer time to sell their eggs and make more money. Or y'all can just give me some good old natural egg straight out of the chicken's badong. I could just leave them on the counter and they'd be good. Free refills. So here you got all the free refills you want. You want another glass of that extra flat Coke? We got you. Or no. You know what's really scumbaggy? This happened multiple times when I go to a fancy restaurant. When you ask for a Sprite or a soda, they'll give you the fancy Mexican kind, you know, like in a glass bottle. And they'll pour it for you. And when you're done with it, they will automatically come bring another one and pour it for you. And then I check the bill. Y'all charging me for every single glass bottle of Sprite y'all poured me? What? I I thought refills were free. I didn't even ask for a refill. But you kept bringing it and I kept drinking it. It was just overwhelming because you were just like giving it to me and I didn't want to waste it. I did not know I was paying for it. So if you guys want to prevent that from happening, tell the waiter, no, no more. Stop. You're going to get no more Sprite money out of me. Of course, the rest of the world, you want a second glass, you're going to have to pay for it. Also, another weird thing, tipping. Whether it's at a restaurant, if you get your hair done, or at a coffee shop. In America, everyone always looking for a tip. Almost every other country, you don't have to tip. In Japan, it's even seen as rude. Like I got a taxi on my way to the Airbnb, and then he was like, it'll be so-and-so. I knew this was a thing here, and then I completely forgot, and then I gave him like a $10 tip. Like he looked at me, and he was like, no, it's this much. Like he was annoyed that I tipped, and I was like, oh. He was clearly upset with me, but I mean, I like that. Like, the price on the menu is the price you're gonna pay. No surprises. No, oh, I'm buying a $5 cup of coffee. Ends up being $8.59 with tax and tip. Nah. So I do this thing called afternoon tea. I know, very fancy, right? Where they serve you tea and a flight of sweets. And it says $40 a person, right? So I go, me and two other people. The bill is over $300. Why? I don't understand. And then I looked at the receipt and it was like 20% service charge for each person. What? Plus tax on top of that. And then they add gratuity just in case you don't. Like there's so many hidden charges. Like they don't tell you about this. Ask you $40. It's gonna add up to like 120 for all of us, right? Wrong. That's not how America works. You got taxes and you got tips. In other countries, the price you see on the tag is the price you're going to pay. And this was so nice in Japan. Like, oh, this costs this much? Here, I'll give you the exact change. Done, son. In most European countries, all the service fees 
are gonna be included in the price. And tips are usually like eight to 12%. But in America, you gotta leave 20% so they don't spit in your food the next time you order. Oh, this is something I hate. This is the worst thing. Always have the AC running. Smash like for AC, comment below for warmth. I hate it cold. I almost never have the AC on in my house. I like to keep my house a nice 79, 80 degrees. Americans go nuts with the AC. 60 degrees, 65 degrees. Some of y'all might as well just live in a fridge. You know what my friends come over? They walk into my wine cellar because it's cool. It reminds them of their house with the AC on. It's so horrible in the summertime when it's really really hot outside and then everywhere you go is gonna be freezing cold. And then just going between like freezing cold to scorching hot heat, like it makes me sick. I don't feel good. Wearing pajamas in public. See, I didn't realize this until I saw this. We're the only people who do that. In Japan, I know I'm gonna keep saying in Japan, in Japan, because by the way, I just spent a week there. I don't really travel very much. And when I do, your girl's gonna talk about it, okay? Absolutely nobody, nobody. And I went on the subway every single day. I saw hundreds, even thousands of people. Not one person was wearing PJs or like even like casual clothes now that I think about it. Everybody, okay, maybe not not some tourists, but like everybody who lived there was dressed so nice, professionally, like dudes, suits. Girls either like their school uniform or like a very nicely dressed. And here, we all got that one girl in our school who gonna go to Starbucks in her Cookie Monster PJ pants. I mean, unless I'm going through a drive-thru or I'm like sick and I do not want to get ready, I don't wear PJs in public. It's like my PJs are reserved for the cleanliness of my house. I don't want to get them dirty. The outside world is dirty. Which just want to be cozy and comfy and I get that. This next one, I read it and I was like, is this real? So y'all gonna have to comment below and tell me. Cause in America, we say X, Y, Z. We call the last letter of the alphabet Z. But everyone else says Z. I've never heard anyone say Z. Unless you are talking about that dude that looks like Ali A. X, Y, Z. Okay. What do you say, Z or Z? It's me, your favorite messy haired YouTuber. Back at it for another video. So today's video is very exciting. For almost 20 years, I've been wanting to go to Japan. And I finally did it. Your girl booked the tickets and I'm finally gonna go. So this is very exciting for me. There's so much I wanna do. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some stuff that they only have in Japan. Part two. You know, in America, so many people have gotten Japanese tattoos. Like, oh, it says this, but it actually actually means this. You know, I think Ariana Grande did that too. So even in Japan, they got wild translations that don't make any sense. Like the sign. You are my angle. Don't treat me like potato. You talk like angle, walk like model, but your body look like buffalo. <laughs> Are these supposed to be like cards for your lover? You strong like Rambo. Look like hero, but your brain just like potato. <laughs> actually makes perfect sense. Like if this makes perfect sense to you. Stay woke. Okay, so I made a whole video on vending machines around the world, but Japan has got most of them. They got a lot of really crazy vending machines. Like you could get anything. 24 hours, seven days a week. You could get chicken nuggets. You could get french fries. You could get a hamburger. You can get any drink imaginable. Oh, but do they have a Starbucks vending machine? That's a really good idea. What? A vending machine with a car? How does that even work? Don't you have to fill out like hella paperwork? You need license, registration, insurance. Like you need a lot of stuff to buy a car. But no, in Japan it's just like credit card in, out. What, it just dispenses the keys? Like here you go, complete stranger. I don't know, I don't care where you got your money from. But here's a car, totally like undocumented. Or maybe it's like your responsibility to like fill out like registration and do your license and stuff. You know, the good old trust system that we don't have in America anymore because of folks like Ted Bundy. You know, I was watching that movie and people back then in like the 70s, 80s were so trusting. Like cop pulls you over, you ran two red lights. And you'd be like, oh no sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was just lost. 2019, they would be like, did you not stop completely at a stop sign? You could have killed someone. License suspended. You gonna have to go to court, pay $500. Like, this is no joke. You do an 85 and a 65, 
guy, you're going to jail. Well, you see here in America, we got green traffic lights. I think most places have green traffic lights, but in Japan, they're blue. But why are they blue? I mean, it works. Is it weird? Yes. And it's even weirder because it's like all traffic lights are the same color green. And it's like when you see one that's like slightly off, you're like, you violated the law. Oh my God. Even the traffic cones are freaking cute. Pink bears. Is this really necessary? Yes. You know, people here, they won't stop for anything. They'll see the traffic cones and be like, oh, that's cute. Okay, you know what? I'll be cautious. I'll stop. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Okay, food. Food is another thing. And it's hard for me because I have celiac, so I have to eat gluten-free, which is gonna be really hard. Because I can't eat a lot of the food in Japan, which sucks. But I have friends that aren't allergic to gluten that can try it for me and explain with great detail how it tastes. Like, we got heart-shaped Doritos. Even though Doritos are cute, like triangles. Hell nah, that ain't cute. I guess they thought Doritos were too obtuse. And so they made heart-shaped Doritos. And it looked like they're like white cheddar flavor. I'm okay with it. Comment below, would you try these? This is what blows my mind the most. I don't even really drink soda, but they have a Sakura flavored Pepsi. It is pink. They have freaking pink Pepsi. And that is not all. They have so many flavors of Pepsi. It's like a whole alternate universe of flavors that you've never even heard of in America. Pepsi, Caribbean gold flavor. What? Excuse me? Caribbean gold? What does that even taste like? Caribbean gold kind of sounds like pirate piss. White sapote flavor. <gasps> it's a fruit. White sapote is a fruit. I repeat, it is a fruit. But what does it taste like? Is it like mame? I have had this. I had a mame raspado. If you know, you know. We got banana Fanta. That's just right up my alley. I love me some banana flavored anything. And it's white. No offense, but I don't like dark colored sodas. I only like it when it's this color. It has to be like white, clear, pink. Pink is okay too. I mean, purple is fine. I don't like it when it's like bright orange. <coughs> orange Fanta. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's just not for me. But like Fresca, mm, Fresca is the best soda ever made. Don't at me. We got another gold one, a Mountain Dew Pepsi. There's a snowman flavor. What does it taste like? I need to know these things. You know what? When I go to Japan, I will personally go on a mission to obtain all of these limited edition flavors for you guys and I will try them. I will let you know in detail what every molecule of my taste buds are experiencing as well as I can. But also me. Mm, yeah, that tastes good. Oh my god. This is blowing my mind right now because there are so many flavors of Kit Kat It's like Pepsi and Kit Kat. These are the two sacred chosen foods of this land We must make them in every single flavor possible Wasabi? I thought that was green tea You know people here when they finally got their hands on green tea Kit Kat. It was wild But wasabi spicy Kit Kat? What? Cheesecake one sounds hella good though. I am mm, anything cheesecake delicious. It's a shame I can't have Kit Kat though. We got an apple flavor. We got a strawberry flavor. That's just dandy. Taro flavor. A wine and cheese flavor. What the hell? A citrus flavor. Citrus chocolate. Pineapple. Bro, y'all need to calm down. That's enough. You can only pick one. Which Kit Kat flavor are you trying? So a lot of the fast food restaurants have a lot of special food items on the menu that you can only get in Japan. McDonald's has a Halloween choco potato. You told me that's chocolate sauce? What's the orange? Cheese? Come on, y'all gotta pick one. I don't think I've ever had chocolate on fries. And honestly, it doesn't sound really good. Oh, uh, you know what? I've had like chocolate covered potato chips, which were, it's one of those things that make me sick just like thinking about it. Like my tummy is not gonna enjoy this. Comment below, would you try this? Oh, I know they had this for Halloween here. But like McDonald's and Burger King do a black burger which looks absolutely disgusting. Putrid. It just looks like a nasty patty. And ain't nobody wanted a nasty patty. How you gonna look at that and be like, mmm delicious. Finally some good effing food. No. You know if it's black, it could be moldy and you just like wouldn't know. I can't show this, but this is a real thing. They have an eggplant emoji festival. Yes. All hail the great Eggplant King. Nice. 
By the way, they are actually holding up a ginormous statue of an eggplant emoji in real life. Nice. You know, in America, we do like makeup and wigs and cosplay. Some cosplayers take it to the next level. Literally a whole nother face. I'm not just cosplaying Sakura. I will literally become her. Well, that freaking mask. How do they even see? I want to know what these masks look like up close because like from far away, they kind of pass. I mean, it looks weird. Like you see an anime character in real life and you'd be like, wait, no, I didn't want it like this. Like the idea is cool and then you finally see them in real life like walking around you walk into a bus full of waifus I don't know some people might be into it. I will be creeped out. Ain't nobody got a face like that in real life And I can guarantee some of those are probably guys another thing I really wanted to go to it sucks because they don't have the Kingdom Hearts one anymore I wish I wanted to go to so bad is an anime cafe So an anime cafe is like a pop-up restaurant with food drinks merch decor everything that has to do with the anime so I know there's a Pokemon one right now because Detective Pikachu just came out and they serve very cute Pokemon food So you got Pikachu coming out of the dirt. Oh my god, look at the parfait. It's so stinking cute You got a Pikachu burger and Pikachu after he had Taco Bell. Oh my god, all the food looks so cute How many freaking yellow foods are there that you can make Pikachu's face out of? Is it just Pikachu that gets all the recognition? This was my dream. It was my dream Dream. I would have literally died if I knew this existed when I was a kid. So I used to love Pokemon. I don't know what happened when I grew up. I know people like grew up and they still loved Pokemon, but I grew up and I was just like, eh, I'm more of an Attack on Titan kind of girl now. Don't talk to me unless you're caught up with the manga or I'll spoil it. Mm. Oh, another thing I have to try is the Pod Hotel. Yes, 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 yes. I will feel like I'm suffocating. I don't know. I've been having weird anxiety about stuff like this. I don't know what it is. How long do you think you could go in here before like going crazy? I think what would drive me insane is I can't actually like sit up in the pod Like all you can do is lay down in it and it's like I would shift around so much I would be like just like turning and twisting and like trying to get comfortable But knowing I'm like literally in a box and somebody is two feet away from me Knowing that there's so many people laying all around me and I'm just like here in this box Oh my god, I, it's, it's like getting hard to to breathe. I'm not claustrophobic or anything, but like, I don't know. It's just like thinking about it. I'm like hyperventilating. I'm like, <laughs> Help me already. So I thought this was some clickbait thing, but it's actually legit. They have different shaped keyboards in Japan. It's not this. This don't fly. So you have round keyboards and there are a lot of variations. You have this kind of keyboard where it's like two pieces. You got one hand on each, which makes sense. Maybe they thought that was a better way to learn how to type. Maybe they're trying to be edgy. I don't know, but I don't like it. Do you have anxiety? Do you like to pop things. They got a keychain that you can pop and it's supposed to simulate bubble wrap. So whenever you sit in traffic or you in a pod hotel and you feel like you can't breathe, you just pull this bad boy out. Oh man, after you pop all those bad boys, you'll feel good for like two seconds and then anxiety intensifies all over again. At the airport, there's a smartphone wipe dispenser. You know, probably the most filthy thing you own. We ain't talking about the search history. There's like a whole screen that shows which stall is occupado. Is this really necessary? Hello friends, it's me, and my jacket is squeaky. If you guys don't know, Japan is my favorite place in the world. There's a lot of really cool things that they don't have anywhere else. There are bullet trains that go insanely fast. So they go around 300 kilometers per hour. And yet you could still balance a coin on the train. And it's just chilling there. That's how smooth this ride is. How can you go that fast? and be that smooth. That's 186 miles per hour. That's faster than I've ever driven. 
So what I tried on clothes in the fitting room, first they make you take off your shoes before you go into the fitting room. And then, if they see you're wearing makeup, they give you a plastic bag to put over your head. So she didn't like that I was wearing makeup, so she told me to wear it with a face mask on. So you don't get those nasty orange foundation marks all over the clothes. Forever 21, I'm looking at you. As long as you don't suffocate. This is super effective and smart, cause it's like every time I go into a Forever 21, I'm like, ooh, a white shirt, looks cute. You got that nasty the orange foundation crust all over the collar. I swear some people try on clothes like mm. Wait, what happened to my makeup? Are you a shy bathroom goer? So Japanese toilets have this really cool feature where they can play music or white noise or water sounds so you can poop in peace and don't have to worry about people hearing what you're doing. And I know people like that. They're like, oh man, I gotta turn the faucet on, I gotta turn on the shower, and then I can do my business. But no, this takes out the middle man. I did this in a public bathroom. I was like, ooh, what does this button do? And then I just started playing like rainforest sounds. You know, in America, we got a big problem. When boys go into the bathroom, it's supposed to go here. And it goes everywhere but here. We got a pee pee problem. So this urinal has a video game that you can play with your pee. So there is a target, and you basically have to hit that target, and you get points for it. So it makes it a little enticing, so you don't miss and make a mess. Joke's on you, I don't know how to play this game. Japan has so many unique drinks at Starbucks. In spring, you can get a soccer a cherry blossom frap. They do apple pie frappuccinos too. Bro, I'm sick and tired of pumpkin spice. Let me get some of this. Peach and strawberry too. We got a peach and strawberry pinkity drinkity. That's not fair. <laughs> Why don't we get quality ingredients? There is a train that is equipped with foot baths so you can have a relaxing train trip with your feet in the warm water. Extra, but but I like it. Okay, I'm someone who appreciates a good foot bath. This sounds nice, but also you're on a train. Wouldn't the water be like, where are the towels? How do I dry off? What if I be chilling in that water a little too long and it's like, oh, my stop is here. I gotta put on my socks and skedaddle. Also, does everybody just wash their feet in the same water? What does it do next to me got foot fungus? Imagine if they put this on the subway in New York, how nasty would that be? People would be like getting naked, taking a full on bath in there, shaving their legs and ugh. So almost every restaurant that I went to in Japan has a display of fake food of their entire menu. So as you walk past the restaurant, you see what the food looks like in the window. So you're like, mm, I'm trying to eat here or not, nah, none of that looks good. Like I love that and like the replicas look so good. It looks like real food. Cause it's like you walk past a restaurant, how do you know it's good? Oh, hold on, let me read the menu real quick. When you could just look and see everything they have to offer. In Japan, it's pretty common that you see toilets with a sink on top. So not only does it save space because you got like tiny bathrooms, but saves the water that you washed your hands with to flush your next flush. My first time using one of these, I'm like, wait, is this water clean? Am I washing it with toilet water? But now you know. So this woman just gave birth in a hospital in Japan. And look at the hospital food that they give you. This looks so bomb. You got those super fluffy pancakes for breakfast. You got clam chowder. Look at this dessert. Bro, you trying to have a baby? You know where to go. <gasps> Starbucks has a cherry pie drink? Oh, I thought this was fried chicken for a sec. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, what's that KFC wing doing on top of my frappuccino? This looks delicious. And it's like, look at the expectation and the reaction. Like it actually looks like the advertisement pic. It's funny because if you order this in America, it'd be like you get like a little crumble on top, maybe a few drops of the pie. The shopping center has free refrigerated lockers for your food so you could keep shopping after you get your groceries. That is genius. Cause it's always like, I go food shopping. Wait, I gotta go home. My turkey slices, they gonna go bad. Ugh, that happened to me the other day. So I went to a bakery. I got take and bake cinnamon buns. I was like five hours till I got home. They sat in my car. And they were so dank and yeasty. That dough said no. I can't even describe how disgusting it was. Whenever you walk into any store, there are umbrella lockers or just a place to put your umbrella before you walk into the building because it rains a lot. Oh, this is smart. I didn't see this. So these ones have like a lock and a key so nobody steals your umbrella. So that's my biggest problem when I went to Japan. People were stealing my umbrella left and right. Maybe it's on purpose, maybe not. But within an hour of going shopping on a rainy day, my umbrella got stolen three times. We have to bring an umbrella everywhere because it's 
it's raining and it's wild out, everybody has an umbrella. And when you go into a store, you put it down and somebody stole all of ours. Somebody stole his twice. You can get a mold for your cucumbers so that they can grow up to be hearts and stars. So when they're baby pickles, you put them in the container and then it just like grows into the shape. Bus drivers in Japan were going on strike. So you know what they did? Instead of like holding up a sign saying pay us more, refusing to work, going on a strike, the bus drivers continued to drive the buses while refusing to take any money from their passengers. So it's like a win-win situation. It's like we ain't making the big boss any money. Everyone gets free rides. Everything works out. That is genius. This hotel has a lamp that can be half lit. So if you ain't trying to go full lit tonight, you trying to sleep while the other person trying to read, or you know what, you could have had two lamps, but no. This is cooler, you could turn literally half the lamp on. You know when you go into one of those fancy parking garages and they have like a green light on top of the parking spaces that are empty? So they do that, but with bathrooms. There's like a whole screen on the wall that shows which stall is occupado. And that's really necessary. <laughs> As you can see, the purple is occupied and the blue is empty. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take my poop the farthest away. At some tourist spots, there are stands to hold your smartphone so you can take a good selfie. Wow, I feel like they should have this everywhere in LA. Let's put in a built in iPhone stand so you can take your pics. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty smart. Most Japanese schools don't have custodians to clean the school. So the students do the cleaning themselves. Cause you're supposed to show gratitude to the school. Thank you for blessing me with knowledge and making me a productive member of society. I will make sure you're clean. You know, if I ever had a kid, we raising it in Japan. Everything's just more wholesome. Someone left a note in Japanese on somebody's bike saying, I accidentally knocked over your bike and broke the bell. I am very sorry. Here's some monies to buy a new bell. But it doesn't get more wholesome than this. That's so nice. Meanwhile, America, people be crashing into cars and fleeing the scene. You know what's the problem when it's happened to me and literally everyone I know? On the trains, there are designated smoke rooms. So y'all can just breathe in your own gunk and nobody else has to suffer. Nice! They have this on the sidewalks too. You can't just like walk in smoke. You have to like be in the designated area to do it. At the airport, there's a smartphone wipe dispenser. So you can clean your phone. You know, probably the most filthy thing you own. We ain't talking about the search history. I clean my phone every few days. I don't know about you guys, but I leave my phone on like every single surface. I take it in bathrooms. I throw it on the floor. Like, it gets dirty. And if you like put up to your face, like take a call with a dirty phone, like that could cause acne. In Japan, when you buy gum, it comes with little pieces of paper. So when you're done with the gum, you don't... Stick it onto the back of your neighbor's chair. No spitting it on the sidewalk. You take it, put it in the paper that it came with, and throw it away. The Tokyo train company made a public apology for a 20 second early departure. How dare you leave 20 seconds earlier? Oh man, this is, this is a disaster. We're gonna have to go on TV apologize for leaving 20 seconds earlier than normal. I mean, somebody missed their train. Almost everybody reverse parks. Oof, imagine living in a society where everybody is just super efficient. That's why I wanna move there. Japan is the only country I went through customs in like five minutes. When I went to Canada, they like interrogated me, asked me a ton of questions. We were there like an hour. And then when I went to Mexico, we were there for like three hours waiting in line when we got there. It's just like, <sighs> infuriating. The longest line in Japan was at a puppy cafe where you can drink coffee and there's a bunch of like Shiba Inus that will just like come up to you and you can pet them and that was the longest line. I unfortunately didn't wait in that line because I'm not very good at waiting. <laughs> Hello friends, it's me. So today we're gonna be checking out things that they only have in Japan. You ever go to charge your phone and stick your wire in the charger and be like, hey, this is boring. What if I could like stick it into Pikachu's butt or something? Well, somebody did that. Now you could charge your phone through Pikachu's butt. Man, poor Pikachu. He suffers because of you. Oh my God. Pikachu's ears are going in the outlet too. Pikachu getting electricity for you to charge your phone. The sacrifices we make. Man, you really go make 
could do that. Again, the person who thought this up, like, hmm. You know, charging my phone is a little boring. Let's spice things up a bit. Spice things up a little too much. Yeah, nasty. In Japan, we got cylindrical eggs. What kind of monstrosity is this? It's a long cylinder egg. Man, I wonder how they made this. It's like when you want hard boiled eggs, but you got the whole family coming over. And it's like you sick and tired of peeling every single egg and chopping them up. Forget the end pieces that ain't got no yolk. I got it, egg log. And just slice that bad boy up. Bam, you got boiled egg for the whole family. Okay, so I figured it out. How they probably do this is they crack a bunch of eggs, separate the eggs and the yolk, and then bake them into some cylindrical form, or perhaps they boil them. How to make an egg log. Okay, okay, you put it in a baggie, then you put the egg whites in a baggie. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got an egg log. Another cool thing they got is a wine pool. The pool made of wine. I think this is actually in the spa amusement park. So I watched a video a while ago. Sophia did a video about the spa amusement park. They got green tea hot springs. It's basically like bathing in a cup of green tea. They got a wine bath. They got noodle baths. Basically a whole spa amusement park where you can bathe your body in various liquids. You know, soak up all those nutrients real good. But you can't drink them. Or can you? Oh, it's public by the way. So you be drinking up people's bath water. You know, some people really, really, really like ears and picking them. So they have ear molds. So, you know, in your free time, put some gunk in there, slime, goo, mustard, and just pick it out. It's got an ear canal and everything so you could clean somebody else's ear. You know, in America, they have something similar to that. Those pimple popping things. Yeah, it's a toy that you could actually squeeze the pimple and goo comes out. But in Japan, they got an ear version. It's not even the same thing, but I don't know, you do you. Over here we got a banana vending machine. M&M's, nah. Reese's, nah. Kit Kat, Cheetos, get out of here. We got bananas. You could buy one whole banana, you know, wrapped up in a plastic baggie and everything. You could buy a whole bunch of bananas. They even got fruit cups. You know, this is the healthiest vending machine I have ever seen, and I'm not even complaining. Bananas are good for you, full of potassium. We love potassium. Oh, if bananas aren't your thing, they got a fried food vending machine. Fried foods 24-7. So these are like frozen meals and it will heat it up for you and dispense it. Oh my god, this is the future. Why don't we have this in America? Literally genius. You could get fries. Like imagine going to a vending machine. Bam, hot fries. $1.99. It's so convenient. You could even get a fish and some fried chicken. Even a hot dog. Bruh, this place has a sign that says no taking pics under your girl skirts and this is a real problem in Japan and like other countries just like slide in your phone right under there or like when they go up the stairs or escalator see I gotta be careful if I'm wearing a skirt or a dress and I'm going up an escalator or stairs I gotta like make sure the goods are secured but I can't believe this is a thing you got some thirsty people out there oh hell no hell no those are real. Those are real. So this is a hairstyle. Bro, she got one on her eye. Are you okay? You Gucci? You got a little... Are they roaches? Cicadas? I don't know. I don't want to know. Looking like a Ferro Roche all over her hair. Do they move around? Are they just chilling there? Do they eat the lice? Ugh, I can't. I can't with this. You gonna wear a cute little pink bow and have a head full of bugs. Man, I would 10 times rather have lice than this. That's not okay. So there is this sign at a bar if somebody offers you a drink, what you should do. So it's like this dude clearly had a little too much to drink. Offer you a drink. You don't want the drink. You a good, respectable, wholesome boy. You say no at first, and then you give in. You know, peer pressure. Let him pour you one. Or, he offers you a drink. You say no. I don't want that. He slams that bottle across your big old head. What? What kind of sign, manual, information pamphlet is this? Like, you say no to a drink? That gives them permission to whack you across your head with the bottle? What? I don't know what's going on here. Someone please explain. This one restaurant has a robot make food for you. You want pancakes? Beep boop beep. Coming right up. I didn't know Bastion knew how to cook. You can't complain about the food. He don't know customer service. You'd be like, eh, I 
don't want this. He ain't got nothing to say. Look at him all cute with a bow and everything. Those pancakes look a little chunky. I wonder what the robot makes. Like, does the robot only know how to make certain food? Can he really bust it down in the kitchen? At least you know its hands are probably clean. You know, can't trust anybody. You know, I just witnessed a waitress go to the bathroom in a restaurant, not wash her hands and just walk out. Bruh, are you for real right now? I would honestly rather have a robot make my food in this case. Hit that like button if you would let this robot cook for you. Oh, the classic female leg pillows. Cause we all appreciate a good thick thigh. But have you ever slept on one? Comfiest pillow on earth. For boys. For girls, I feel like it's like a girl's arm. So they got like a girl version of it, which is a guy's arm. So you can like snuggle with it. Who needs a girlfriend when you got this? <laughs> we got an anime waifu sleepover. All these dudes brought their girlfriends over, you know, their waifu pillows. And they gonna have a sleepover. Everyone got their jammies on. You know, this is my kind of Saturday night. Why these two dudes got the same waifu though. This is a good time. Oh, you know what else they got? Square watermelons. It's a perfect cute. And they're supposed to be really expensive and fancy. Like in America, we wear Gucci. In Japan, they got square watermelons. You know, that's when you really splurge. So how do they do this? They grow them in a box. I figured this is how it happens. So when the watermelon is still a child, they put it in a plastic box. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got a square watermelon. <laughs> it's crazy how nature do that. Oh, they got different shapes. They got hearts. Oh my God, they could do it with other fruit too. With cucumbers, with apples. No, that apple doesn't look legit, but I have seen those cucumbers before on a salad. Bro, what is this? Watermelon cake? This is the future. Box watermelon cake. Shook. See, I want to know about this star cucumber because this is the actual thing. These are so adorable. Look at that. This is the most cutie thing I've ever seen next to Ash. Okay, this is legit. There's enough pictures on here that these are legit. So they basically grow them in a star-shaped mold. Isn't it crazy how nature do that? Like, oh, I'm growing, but I'm confined in a star-shaped box. So I will grow to be a star. Wow, adorable. <laughs> This is a sport. I don't know what it is. It's like that dance Squidward does. Limbo on down the finish line faster. There should definitely be a Fortnite emote. I feel like they would be on this so quick. It's perfect. A child wearing a feces shaped hat prepares to slide into a toilet at Tokyo's Mirai Ken Museum. It is part of an exhibition exploring the link between human waste and Earth's future. Imagine being the kid wearing a poop hat sliding down a toilet. He probably doesn't know what's going on. Oh, it's a slide. I'm just gonna slide. Wee! Does this like 30 times a day. This is a game show in Japan. They got challenges where they make you do crazy things. Like eat a bowl of spaghetti in a washing machine. Okay, that's pretty wild and impossible. I don't know how that would work. It's you're, you're gonna flip, you're gonna flip and spin and it's gonna go everywhere. It's going to happen. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. This challenge was doomed from the start. I wonder what the challenge was. Who can eat the most pasta while being spun in a washing machine? I mean, at this point, you'd have to probably just like grasp it all in your hands and just like the bowl, the fork. It ain't working. Oh, I've heard of this. They got snail facials. Okay, so you know when a snail moves and it leaves like a slime Lime trail that's supposed to be like hella good for your skin so basically the snails will just chill on your face for a hot minute leaving their slime all over and then they like rub it in massage everywhere all that good stuff BAM beauty I actually bought a snail face mask before it was very slimy so I heard about this a long long time ago like years ago and for some reason I thought all the hotels in Japan were like this because there's no space so they have pod style hotels where you basically just get this pod that you sleep in and you just chill on your phone or laptop or whatever. I mean, this would be perfect if there was like a bathroom or like, you know, a place you could do your business. You don't have to like leave your pod. I would be good just, you know, spending the whole day in there. You're like basically confined. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like, you know, like the McDonald's play place or like Chuck E. Cheese or something. They got places like this where you can just like confine yourself. When I was a kid, I used to just like chill in them. I would find a nice, quiet, secret corner and just chill in it. Except you got like blankets and pillows and everything is the adult version like this video if you would stay here I would definitely try this out at least for one night like it's good and cost-effective if like you're gonna be out all day doing things and you just want to come back to the hotel to sleep <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing because this is awful am 
imagine if your motorcycle or your PlayStation or Xbox or PC or phone was crashed by a bus? You got this mommy and her little baby just looking and pointing at it. I feel like they did this ad on purpose. This bus is just gonna run over whatever is in its way. And then the mommy and the baby are gonna point at it like, look what happens when you leave your laying around. Like it's not even an ad for anything. Like what, what are they pointing at? Clearly somebody's motorcycle. So at the convention center, we got this dude completely covered in anime merch. He got lanyards, he got plushies, he got keychains, he got everything. And he's carrying all of them. Like he got all over his back, his arms, he carrying two big ass things. Man, who need a store? I am a store. Like at least you don't gotta pay for like a whole storefront and set up and everything. You just hold everything. Thing, like, mm. But if somebody tries to pay you, how does that work? You have to like put it down and take the credit card or the cash or the money, give him the change. You know, you need you need hands for that. Maybe they're not actually attached to his hands. He got like arm attachments or something. Not impressed yet. There is a bunny island. An island that is filled with very fluffy bunnies. And you can just go there and chill with all the bunnies. And they hella big. Like, what are you feeding these boys? Come on, y'all ain't just eating grass. I feel like if they really wanted, they could eat that dude. Like, one rock move. It's 500 of us versus one of you. It's over. There's no competition. I mean, how many people do you think go to that island just to feed them? Like, come with, like, a basket full of food and they be eating all of it. Damn, those bunnies. Thick!